Leo nataka kupiga story ya Msee Maze an icon of the music industry a game changer yani one of the most humble people i have ever met na hii story yetu Maze ilianzia 2009 so 2009 wadau nilikuwa nishamaliza college pale e, producer wangu pale tahidi haya akatuambia mimi Filona Oje hapo ah, since nyinyi watu mlikuwa mnasomea mambo ya sinema Simukuje mfanye tu eh, internship hapa kwa kwa kipindi. So 2009 not only was I an actor pale Tahidi Hai, I was also uh, the camera person and script writer for Tahidi and I was also the camera person and script writer for Mother in Law which is a sister program to Tahidi Hai. Zote zilikuwa under the same producer. So ikakuwa ndo sawa. So sisi napiga asoli yetu alafu routine pale ilikuwa ga wakati shule zimefunguliwa wakati shule ziko in session tuna shoot mother in law four days a week that's monday to thursday tuna take a break on friday ndio saturday twende tufanye nini to shoot tahidi high shule zikifungwa mother in law inaenda break officially then tunapiga tahidi high the whole month until shule zifunguliwe juu unajua tahidi ilikuwa inashutiwa in an actual high school so e time shule zilikuwa bado ziko in session so tunapiga ile routine yetu ya four days mother in law break on friday saturday tahidi hai sawa so one of these days maze tililililili kasimu kanaingia na angalia hivi naona ah ah uni boy wangu tulisoma na high school watanisikia anasema nini so nachukua simu ananiambia eh hey, maze abeli jo naona mambo yenu pale tahidi hai eh hey, na come through inaweza mbaya na tumeka hivi tuko consider tuko na wewe unaweza piga MC nini deadly sana pale chuo tuko na event na kama i think ilikuwa ni Mr and Miss eh, Mo University or something ama ilikuwa tu sikumbuki poa sikumbuki poa ilikuwa ni nini exactly but ilikuwa tu ni gig na walikuwa wanahitaji nani MC ah so nikapiga hesabu Eldore ti gig iko lini bro ah kaambia gig iko friday usiku eh, so na kama tutapiga friday usiku wewe unaishia ai 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 napiga hesabu maze ni shoot mother in law mpaka thursday on friday wakati nafaa kuwa rest nitoke hapa niende eldoret nipige gig na bado ni rudi in time for shoot ya saturday asubuhi ai 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 maze ilikuwa inanikanganya deadly so nikamuuliza okay so nikipiga hii shughuli maziwa ni ngapi akaniambia pale siwezi kosa elfu zako 30 wadau 2009 30 G's was a lot of money unajua 30 G's ni pesa inge influence decision yako maze ya vitu nyingi sana so nikapiga hesabu nikaona hi usingizi 30 G's usingizi 30 G's <laughs> nikasema you know what wacha tuchukue 30 G's mtu wangu nikamwambia buda nakuja eh ndafika hapo eh ni rest kidogo until gigi anze Nipige gigi yangu wakati tu gigi itaisha hivi teke teke mimi nirudi wapi nirudi Nairobi sawa sawa eh so hiyo fr- mind you simu imekaa kitu ka Wednesday so niko na tu Thursday Friday mimi huyo Eldoret so Friday imefika mimi kama kawa eh, like the celebrity that I was nikaingia pale mtandao Facebook nini nika upload picha ya ndege hapo na nikaandika caption matata pale sana paper chasing eh? get that mula maze chasing the bag alafu whoop, nikaipost pale kwa mtandao alafu like a typical kenyan celebrity mimi huyo easy coach very fast very fast nikaingia easy coach yangu mimi saa tisa mchana nikajua saa mbili usiku inanipata wapi eldoret kwa hiyo safari naenda tu nikijiambia eh hey, maze hata sijai kafiti kwa hotel room yani nisikie vile wasanii wanasikianga kwa hotel room eh what are you doing bro i am just chilling at my hotel room waiting for my gig eh? unajua azimse ah you guys man he so ndio mimi nimefika 8:30 imenipata wapi eldoret tao na callboy wangu namwambia eh hey, ni aje buda niko in the area eh so tani point to the direction of my hotel <laughs> akanisho eh 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 bro fanya hivi kama hapa venue venue ni place inaitwa power place eh, power place iko hapi hapo LDA eh, saa chukua tu taxi uambie wakulete power place mimi huyo mpaka power place sasa nimeingia uzuri sikuwa nimejibeba sana juu nilikuwa najua nafika napiga gigi yangu narudi same day sio 
So nafika hivi na mbe he champe inakuaje si hata unionyeshe manze karum kangu ni chill chill kwanza nifanye maroutine zangu and show eh sasa buda um, eh eh tunajaribu sana manze tusikuweke sana by 8 no by 10 igi itakuwa imeanza so tukaona ah hakuna haja kukuget ya hotel room wewe we, we tafuta tu mahali ubangaize bangaize angalau manze ikifika 10 tuanze kitu wewe piga ka umerudi mtaa. Hey. Wow, wow. Eh, hey, hakuna hotel room. Okay. Hu, sawa. Haina mambo. Sawa, haina mambo. Tutalala kwa hoteli siku nyingine. Haya, so mimi nimetoka Nairobi saa tisa. Saa hii kasa mbili na nusu inaelekea saa tatu sijauma kitu. So najua hapa sasa leo nataka ni enjoy buffet. Buffet. Yeah? Mumeni nyima hoteli lakini ni pointini kwa hiyo direction ya buffet. Ha! Didi, unajua nijirudishie shukrani men. Akaniambia ah 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 eh jomba eh eh fanya hivi unaweza kuwa na sabini hapo ushike tuchipo pale eh maze dishi atakuwa tumeorganize fit lakini kuna eh, kuna mama anapika chips wewe pale kuna mama a, wewe fanya hivi ingia pale nani iko mtu ako na themanini tuongeze kwa sabini hapa tuone kama kuku itaweza okay eh kula, kula tuchipo tu mahali pale tafuta mahali ubangaize eh, ikifika 10 pige kitu. Eh. Ay ay ay, hata chakula. Eh. Eh okay sawa. At the end of the day naenda nyumbani na 30 Gs. It's so good. It's so good. Twende tupige kitu. Haya, 10 o'clock ikafika maze. Mimi sina hata form, hakuna place. Yaani nazurura zurura tu huko hivyo kama So maze tena nimefika. Eh form, ai bado. Oi, maze speaker sijui zimefanya nini. 10:30 bado bado maze sina room so, so niko tu all over the place so nikaka hapo maze naelekea 11 ah nimeanza kuchoka nikasema acha ni kule lap niangalie hapo place sinakaje nini niangalie kumbe iko na tu tu rooms huko iko na ma, ma cottage fiti fiti so napiga ma lap huko maze na katu yani ah ulishaona tu mtu tu amechoka yani ndio saa kidogo kidogo tu maze mlango imefunguliwa ya room fulani pa Naangalia hivi maze. Ah. Msanii. <laughs> Kumbe huyo msanii ndiye alikuwa anafanya headline hii event maze. Sikuwa nimepata hiyo info vizuri. Ah, Buda unafanya nini hizi area? Ah, kancho maze na, na, na mimi ndio na headline hii event nini? Ah, ni aje uko room gani? Eh nikamwambia eh room Buda. <laughs> hey, mti wangu mimi vile unaniona hivi. Maze nimebangaiza tu sina place ya kuishia nimeambiwa tu nikae nitulie ngoja gig ifike mimi ni MC niishi niishie eh hey, maze msanii akanihurumia jo ashindwa umetoka Nairobi na hata ka room ka place ka kuchill maze hawaja kujenga hey, nikamwambia maze kitu nikae kuwa na budget jo aikuwa na budget aje so amenilipia ndege amenilipa do yangu in advance ni eh hey. yani msanii alikamna ndege na vile mimi hizi coach nimepambana na njugu oh, oh, oh. Nikaambia sasa iko hivyo. Kaanza so form. Nikaambia maze hapa sasa ni kukaa, ni ngoja tu hiyo idha ya gig, niingie ni perform. Wow, hiyo gig the earliest tutaingia pale ni saa sita. Utafanya nini between now na hiyo time? Nikaambia wale kusema kweli msanii yake si, sina sina idea. Can you imagine? Jamaa alinchik umse hatujawahi meet ever. Ananijua tu kidogo from TV. Na hiyo time siku ati nimekuwa big deal sana at the design alinishika mkono kaambia buda kam ingia kwa rumi yangu bangaiza hapa umedishi nikaambia eh nilikutanishwa na chipo za mama fulani pale eh hey, wakanisifia hizo chipo ni deadly lakini hey. <laughs> so niliumauma tu so akaambia hata nilikuwa nimeodadishi hapa mazee nasikia siku sina ubao sana makukukuku nini utadimbua dishi yangu bro eh hey, bangaiza hapo tulia usikuwa na pressure ukisikia nikao nataka ku take nap kidogo lala kwa bed yangu Guys, um says Jawai meet I had never met this guy in my life. Amenitoa kwa corridor maze ameniingiza kwa room yake, ananiambia ni chill kwa bed yake, ni kule food yake. Paka na Julza maze um say ni nani jo? Who this? So maze ikakondo hivyo midnight ikafika hata nilidoze nilikuwa nime beat mbaya. Akaniamsha akaniambia maze idha imefika. Hata wale maboys wenye waliniita ndio walikaa moka niokota huko. Nilikuwa nimewa text ni kwasho niko hapa kwa room ya msanii. Mnaweza kama nichukue. So vile watu walijipanga nikakaa nikachukuliwa. Wakanipeleka mambo nikapiga sinema kuua. Tuli MC gig. 
mpaka kitu kasa tisa na nusu ndio nilikuwa nafunga kazi maze. So nikaambia majamaa mazee kazi nimeshapiga e, so mimi nataka nizidi jo mkiniona bana mkuchu yangu ah mimi niteke teke mpaka mtaa Guys believe it or not jamaa ambaye nilisoma na high school alikunja noti hivi kama hongo akanipatilishia kwa mkono hwap akaniambia jo brother shikilia na hiyo thao kwanza wewe ukifika mtaa tutaorganize vile doa yako itakama wadau ilikuwa 2009 leo ni 2020 11 years later bado nangojea my 29 years walinilipa 1000 yani mtu nilisoma na high school aliniita all the way to Eldoret akanilipa 1000 basically i spent more going to that gig than what i made 1000 shillings <sighs> lakini maze kama si experience jo Singe kutana na umsani maze mwenye lini bless sana hiyo siku very few people wako na roho kama ya huyu jamaa maze na the jamaa ambaye naongelea kwa hiyo episode ya leo ni none other than Paul Nunda aka Jua Kale Maze Jua Kale barikiwa sana maze ulininspire sana hiyo siku I think nishai kupiga story before but ilikuwa zamani sana samo ya pale kani but naweza taka tu nikutane na wewe tena nikusalimie nikwambie Buddha Roho yako ina wengi maze. Na hivyo ndio ni limit jua kali wadao maze. Shukran sana. That has been episode 1. Tukutane episode 2 next Saturday. Lakini Wednesday Young and Stupid inaendelea kama kawa. I'll see you. Shukran man. Ah 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 ah, ah. we kabla sija ni we mkumbuke tu subscribe ni eh. Kuna mtu ameni challenge akaniambia nikifika 60000 by end of june ananipatia 60000 shillings <laughs> na mnamjua mnamjua kijana mkonda mahali mnamjua msikubali shetani yashinde tafadhali 60000 by end of june please hii nawaomba please thank you <laughs>